of Spur and Steel Strap. Alright, uh, so there's a lot of comics going on tonight. The club said they could give us each uh, spot, so we had to share one. <laughs> so, so my name's Mike Sterner, and this is Aaron. What's your name? So, Aaron. <laughs> so I'll go first. Um, well, let me tell you a little about myself, as though you care. Um, I uh, work at the library. Great job, thank you. Yeah, no, I love working at the library and helping people find information and uh, knowledge. And uh, although today I did have to explain to someone what nonfiction is. Yeah, true story. Is what nonfiction is. So, um, I, I, I like nonfiction. I prefer it over fiction because with fiction it's just like they're making shit up. You know, just writing down whatever pops into their head. A, a guy today asked me, he wanted me to help him find the self-help section. Dude, it's self-help. Go, look. I don't, I can't. He wanted one of these complete idiots guys. I'm insulting, personally. You know, you know, that's what you want. Seriously, maybe, here's what you need. Uh, low self-esteem for dummies. Hit that, why don't you? So I read the book The Secret the other day. Changed my life. The Secret. Actually, it wasn't a book, it was uh, that catalog that Victoria puts out. <laughs> yeah, um, my apartment's real messy. How and messy is it? How messy is it? Don't do that. <laughs> my, my apartment's so messy that I found a human heart on the toilet seat. And I, I said, Damn it, I thought I ate that! <laughs> My turn again? All right. Um, so, I try to be healthy. I, I ride my bike to work, and because uh, I believe that riding your bike is the best, most eco-friendly way to get yourself killed. I have a car. I have uh, a 1987 Ford Fiesta. Hey, I had that. Yeah, Fiesta. Yeah, some party. It is not a good car. It overheats all the time. Even in the winter, it over you turn the radio on, it overheats. You know, the poor Caliente car, you think it's going to work out. I, I don't know. I should have known my car was a lemon when I bought it, because first of all, it's bright yellow. And second of all, the guy who sold it to me had it balanced on the edge of this giant glass of iced tea. You know you got a crappy car when having a full tank of gas doubles the resale value. <laughs> I had a really bad encounter with a Tucson man the other day. You know, he's a Tucson man and he had a hot dog on his t-shirt. So I just said, hey man, that's, you know, cool hot dog on your t-shirt. This is what he said to me. I like goddamn hot dogs. I got a tattoo of a barbecue beef sandwich on my shoulder. I got a jar of pickles on the other one. I got a goddamn salad bar all the way across my back. And right down there is a perfectly beautiful ear of corn right on my ding dong. And my wife, I mean my wife's sister and I, we have a newborn, and there's an ice cream sandwich tattooed right on the baby's face. You see, I'm, I'm a Tucson man, and I have a hot dog on my t-shirt if I'm a I'm a Tucson man, I got a hot dog t-shirt, and let me tell you something, you mess with me, you're messing with the damn Guantanamo Bay, because I will put you into a butt naked pyramid. I'm a poor white man, I need a job. Yes. So any white people here tonight? White people? Yeah, apparently I'm white. That's the only choice I had on the Census Bureau papers, white. Which to me, that's not uh, race, that's color, right? This is, uh, th it's a color that I'm not. This is white, and then this, this is, uh, according to my 64 pack of Crayola crayons, it's like peach. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm Swedish, Dutch, Irish, English, Scotch-Irish. I prefer the term Euro trash. <laughs> And, and I'm 128th Cherokee. And I'll never forgive the white man for what he did to my people. And I'll never forgive the peach man for what he did to my people. 
I'd like to read a children's story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a desert pig named Peter, and he was friends with a groundhog named Terry. <laughs> One day, Peter and Terry were admiring the beautiful sunset as it set on the Abierto Cerrado Mountains. <laughs> Terry said, Peter, you're my best friend. And Peter said, no, you're my best friend. Peter ripped off Terry's head and ate it, and then sodomized the corpse. Later, Peter was wondering to himself why he didn't have any friends. <laughs> See, Peter's a desert pig, so... <laughs> he said, I don't... He said, animals don't fucking talk. <laughs> Oh, dating is getting terrible. It's uh, really tough out there. Oh, give a shit. All right, I'm gonna sing a song. Uh, this is for my 86-year-old aunt, who um, she mistreated uh, our family, so we had to put her in a hospice. And then she started mistreating the staff, so they moved her out of her bedroom and into a bathtub. So you can sing along if you like. It, it kind of goes like, you know. It's time to clean my bottom, nurse. It's time to clean my bottom. Where's my butter bread? Where's my butter bread? Come on! It's time to clean. Where's my butter bread? Where's my butter bread? It's time to clean my bottom, nurse. It's time to clean my bottom. Thank you. We've been Sterner and Steel Show. Good night. Holy shit. Somebody get that man some help.